When I ask Scrum Masters about this, they often say, well, if I'm not there, if I'm not facilitating, I don't think they're going to do anything. Hi, my name is Daria. Welcome to Scrum Mastered video series where I give you practical tips on how to build awesome teams. In today's video, I wanted to talk about failure, a topic that no one really wants to talk about, but it is very important for the success of your Scrum team. So what does it mean? When we talk about culture that allows Scrum to be successful and to really create benefits within the organization and the team, we talk about experimentation, inspection and adaptation. And this all comes back to failure. What does it mean to experiment? What does it mean to inspect and adapt? Well, it means that we need to be ready to take on some ideas or some improvement actions that we're not sure will work. And sometimes they will not work, they will fail, and we need to be able to instead as to hide it out and uh, figure, pretend that it never really happened. Instead, we need to be able to learn from it. So this is what really inspection adaptation is all about. And it means that we need to be able to accept failure, learn from it, and really use it as an improvement opportunity. What does it actually mean for you as a scrum master of a team? Well, we go back to topics such as self-management, self-organization of a scrum team and your role, the scrum master's role in helping the team to actually self-manage. And this is where failure really comes in. It means that as a scrum master, in order to help your team self-manage, to grow, to evolve, inspect and adapt, sometimes you need to let them fail. And a very specific example to that is when Scrum Masters, when they start out working with the team, they might be very, very close to specific tasks. So, for example, they might be facilitating daily Scrum or facilitating every single event, organizing every single event. And that creates that relationship that the team can rely on the Scrum Master to figure it all out and they don't need to think about it at all. So how do you help them self-manage? When I ask Scrum Masters about this, they often say, well, if I'm not there, if I'm not facilitating, I don't think they're gonna do anything. And they are scared. They are scared to actually let go, let this go and let the team figure it out. And this is where the failure comes in for you as a Scrum Master, where you need to be able to let go and help your team fail. And yes, you maybe if you're not there to facilitate, nothing's going to happen and the team is not going to be able to achieve their goals. But remember, it's an opportunity for them to learn. What you should do is be there to support them when this failure happens and help drive them and direct them to the learnings they can get from that failure. So in the end, what you need to think about is failure is acceptable. Failure is a natural thing that happens when we experiment in empirical process and when we inspect and adapt. So as a Scrum Master, you need to let your team fail from time to time. And this especially is very, very needed when your team relies on you for simple tasks that you know they're able to accomplish on their own. I hope you learned something new today, and if you did, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this YouTube channel. And if you are interested in more facilitation guides and workshop materials that you can use with your teams and that you can add to your Scrum Master's toolbox, then check the shop at scrummaster.com. And I'm going to put the link down in the description for you to find it and check out all of the great products that we have there. I hope to see you next time. Cheers and scrum on.